it was it was actually taller at the beginning. It was 400 meter, but then the, the aeronautics came. They said that you cannot because you interfere with the flight of the airplane. So we stop it. Actually, we broke it. So the building is now 310 meter, but it's still desired to go up to 400. He saw the railway line, he saw the river, and he began to sketch on the back of this menu. This was done in seconds. He saw it as a sail coming out the water. And I thought, this guy's really got stuck. It's like a little vertical city. It's like a village, this building. You, know, you have a transportation, public transportation at the bottom and you start with the two mid underground line, then you come up, you have train, you have buses, you have shop, you have office, you have a public space, you have a hotel, you have a few little, few, few, few residential buildings, and then, and then you have the viewing platform. Eleven thousand panels compose the six hundred thousand square foot facade. Each weighs over six hundred fifty pounds and is roughly five feet by twelve feet. Transparency is achieved by use of low iron laminated glass. The glass was supplied by Pilkington NSG and fabricated by Interpane and Flockloss Vernberg. The external glass panes oversail the polyester coated aluminum glazing beads and butt up against each other to achieve a flush exterior surface. The single glazed exterior is laminated extra white glass with a 24% reflective coating. Interpane fabricated the panels and was responsible for the coating of the external glass pane. Flock Glass Fernberg constructed the inner insulating glass units that are side hinged for required maintenance inside the cavity of the panels. The double glazed insulating glass units serve as the weather line of the building. A colorless low E coating was added to reduce reflection of infrared radiation back into the building. Primary solar protection comes via use of motorized roller blinds located in the cavity of each panel. Blinds are woven in glass fiber by Hexel to reduce solar radiation by 95% while still leaving the curtain wall semi-transparent. Optional motorized blackout screens are mounted to the inner surfaces of panels as needed. Sheldabal BV, the curtain wall contractor based in the Netherlands, propped the glass on timber blocks for 48 hours while the bonding silicone beads set. This eliminated any potential dishing of the double glazed units. The facade of eight shards tapers to the sky at an incline of six degrees from vertical and reaches 1,017 feet from ground level. As a result of its height and transparency, views of London are produced which are only before seen from aircraft.
But if you are making architecture, what you judge is not the real thing. It's the drawing of the real thing. It's the model of the real thing. It's the rendering of the real thing. So you have to use your imagination to understand what is going to be in reality. You don't change the world as an architect, but you celebrate the change of the world. I think this building will be great in, uh, in the first century because it's actually it's not arrogant, it's actually very light, it's like a crystalline presence, it's, 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 not, it's not killing anything.